privilege of introducing somebody who's been, uh, she's, I mean, she's behind the scenes. She's somebody who runs the show without people knowing she runs the show, really. I mean, she sends the, the email. She runs the Zoom. She does, she is really, I mean, what makes a lot of things that we see, the end, the beginning and the end of a production, she's often the person that's behind it, right? Mm -hmm. She is an incredible family woman, and she's a great support. She is a really great friend, and she has chosen this industry to be a professional network marketer. And I have to say, we are all better for it because she's here. So, Miss Marianne, would you please? <laughs> shared with, helped, has done whatever, and um, just being a part of this community and and uh, like what Nikki said, I, uh, I actually owned a marketing and advertising company, right? And what's interesting is uh, I was thinking about Steve because I wanted to be an architect. I took four years of architecture in high school, and when I talked to my counselor, they said, what about science? Not so good. <laughs> what about math? Not so good. How about interior design? <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe I can handle that. So I went to college for one year and um, fell in love, and the rest um, was history. But but anyway, um, just being here amongst all of you guys, I just want to know how much you touch my heart every day. And so thank you for that. Uh, okay, so now we're going to get serious, right? I'm going to talk about F U. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I was at a presentation and Cheryl Morley came out and she said, I'm going to talk about F you, and everybody's like, what? <laughs> but what I'm going to talk about is follow up. But here, I thought about this. I did some research. You know, I was like, I want to bring something unique to the table. And so I decided to change it from follow up, right, to friend friendship. And understand. Oh. I want you to think about that. Just what Nikki, whatever, what you hear, I just like even that out very well. But friendship and understanding, that's what follow up is here. And like Nikki said, you know, everything, it doesn't happen just overnight. Some are pretty quick. I've had some pretty quick things. Met some people who just connected really well, really fast. And the next thing you know, you know, they're part of this, it's a community. But Friendship, when you think about friendship and understanding, that takes some time. It takes a little bit of time to get to know people. And like just having Nikki in front of me, that was just great. Because um, we're always thinking, oh, all I need to do is ask them about this and tell them and share that this, and the next thing you know, they're in our business. And that's not how it happens. And I think people come in and they want it to happen, because I know I did, right? I wanted it to happen really fast. I needed this to happen really fast. And so if we're not prepared, if we don't understand that it's gonna take some time, because it takes time to create friends. It takes time to understand where they're coming from. And so be comfortable with that. I've got a couple handouts. Um, one is a sheet that Denise made, and this is great. You can, if somebody, okay, thank you. Um, it is on the uh, 65 and a wake up, but it's also just a great conversation with the coffee shop interview, right? How many of you guys have heard of the coffee shop interview? Okay, quite a few, quite a few of you guys. So the sheet that I'm handing out right now is a sheet that you fill out as you are becoming a friend, understanding friendship, understanding where somebody's at. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can read between the lines. <laughs> but um, anyway, so this sheet, oh, I need one for me. It's a great sheet because um, think of this as your friendship and understanding sheet. So when you meet somebody and you're getting to know them 
and like Nikki said, you know, you sit down and you really, it's heart to heart. We, we don't, I, I mean, there's some people that just come up to me and go, I don't, I don't know what you're doing, I want to be a part of it. Um, they don't know it's network marketing. They uh, see the energy and they see what we're doing, you know, what I'm doing, what, what my life is doing. It's amazing how many people creep on your Facebook page. <laughs> I see her traveling a lot. I see her having great success. Really, I'm communicating my life, right, of what's going on. And so, if Jerry gets their sheet, almost, almost. Okay. So you, you know, you hear. How many of you guys think you have a great follow-up system? Sherry and I were just talking about this, creating a great follow-up system. Okay. Again, friendship and understanding system. So this is a sheet of paper that you can use when you meet somebody and you get to start getting to know them. And it says, how did you meet, right? We talked about that. How did you meet somebody? I, uh, I met this lady in my network marketing group. This probably took about six months, right, to develop a relationship, to understand where she is coming from, to figuring out how I could serve her best. She happens to be a nutritionalist, right? So I'm kind of like Nikki. I can't wait to tell her about all the products. I can't wait to tell her how much nutrition we have. But guess what? I couldn't do that on the first day. Couldn't do it on the second day. Then we had our three-way. You know, Trish came in. She has a nutritional uh, therapy certi certification and certificate. And so then she got to know this person. All right. Then she started saying how she wanted to do some talks. The next thing you know, we're having another meeting. Now she's going to be doing. She's in. She's like, I want to be a part of this. Who wouldn't? And she's in, and she's going to be doing talks about nutrition, utilizing our products. But again, we created this great friendship. I mean, her son came to one of our meetings, and you know, he got to meet everybody. He met Adrian, and they, he's a millennial, and so they just hit it off. I had no idea what they were talking about, but that was great. But it, so, but here's this: her, her son comes to the meeting, tells his mom how much he loved it, and then. Next thing you know, she's even more interested in what's going on. So sometimes it might be a little bit of the, the back look. Um, so your little sheet here, right? You're getting to know people and you're getting to understand them, what their hobbies are. So now you know what you can talk to them about, right? You want to speak into their list. Tom talks about this all the time. Speak into someone's listening. Because as your friendship grows, you know they have kids. You know that they are interested in camping. How many kids? people going camping? Have a little better experience here, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And you can share different things with them and build again relationship. Okay, so this is just a great little sheet to fill this out. You can do like a you know one to thirty one, and so now you're going to continue building your friendship. I, uh, it was so funny, I was uh, reading this article about follow-up, and this guy said, he goes, believe me, follow-up works, I know. It can be creepy, it's a field thing. It can be creepy <laughs> unless you have success, right? And this guy was, he said, you have to be relentless with your follow-up. He said, that's how I got my wife. Mm -hmm. I just kept going back and going back and going back and going back until she finally went on a date with me and success, right? So we follow up can be the development of uh, building that relationship, right? He he was selling something. She wasn't quite ready to buy yet, so we had to keep putting that out. And out. So be relentless on your follow-up, but be relentless in creating that friendship. Be relentless in understanding where people are coming from. And sometimes it takes time. So don't get too nervous about that. All right. Um, I, think, I can't remember who said this, but uh, somebody said about 90 days, right? What you're doing today, the relationships you're developing today, the understanding you're developing today, the people you're developing today is going to show up in like 90 days. It's like clockwork. Unbelievable. So when you are developing this communication, this invitation, 
right? Because like, I invite people to go to coffee. We don't talk about you, Jim, right? I just get to know them. The next thing I know, oh, Glenn is having this big, you know, fiesta out of his farm. Oh, you mentioned that you want organic food. That's a great place to go. You should come to this, right? And so understanding who these people are and creating those relationships, the next thing you know, these people are, I don't know who these people are that you keep introducing me to, but I want to be a part of this. I want to be part of the community. All right. So, one to seven times. Think about this. Your interaction with someone could take one to seven times. I think it was at the a &P, they were talking about people are really, really good, right, at the, that first follow-up. And maybe a little bit better, okay, at the second. By the third time, we're getting a little bit impatient here. <laughs> Nothing's really coming up. We haven't talked about the business yet. I'm not sure where it's going. And sometimes by four, we're done. We've given up. We've decided to move on. We haven't really created a relationship or understanding. And guess what? Here's where the magic happens. On five and six and seven and eight and nine, and sometimes it might even take more, but that's okay, right? Because that relates, like Nikki said, you know, a lot of times people can, will come in. I've had people sign up and, and disappear. The relationship isn't there. And so this is so, this is network marketing. This is life. Yeah. This is what we do. This is what we're a part of every single day. Sure. Okay. So um, the next thing I'm going to pass around, has anybody seen this? Yep. This yep. is our little uh, famous chart. 52 cards, right? And you're looking for your four aces. But I use this relentlessly on my follow-up. And what I do, and you're going to see this and you can pass it around. Oh, I got my little new, my new one here. Okay, so you can see something like this, right? So I am continually meeting people. I'm continually creating relationships and getting to know people and understanding them. Now, technology is technology, right? But I'm still kind of a paper and pen person. And so I write all these names in here, and then I put little asterisks around like how many times I've touched basis with them, I've communicated with them, I've invited them somewhere, I've sent them a tool. Who knows? You just keep going and going and going until the until the moment's right. And um, anyway, I'm gonna bring I'm actually gonna bring Adrian Chanel up here if you would like to you guys heard about Adrian here. You know? So that's gonna be great. I am a half technology person and a half I love pen and paper. I've got more journals. I take notes constantly. I love to write my interviews down and then put them into my phone. And so that's how I continue to create the relationship, right? And um, I use Google is my uh, app that I use right now so that I can continue to know where I'm at. I put information in about that person. So I transfer it from paper to here. Sometimes I go right in here. It just depends. But, um, I know some of you know that there is, uh, you know, about the contact mapping, right? Does anybody know about contact mapping? Okay, so that's kind of what we do. We're getting to know people. We're moving them along. We're getting to know relationships. We're connecting people. Sometimes I'm connecting people long before they become part of the app. So contact mapping is really important. And if we had an app, which right now, if any of you know me, I have alarms going off on a constant basis. <laughs> and a lot of them are, right? They're just beeping at me. I look at it, it's like, you, you know, follow up with Sally today. You're supposed to call Sally and follow up with her. Or, you know, call Jane. You're going to, you know, invite her to some event, whatever it is. And so Adrian is working with Tom on creating a contact mapping app. I'm just going to give you couple minutes to just really quick just kind of spit it out there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, tell your story. Who are you first? Well, you already told me. Yeah. Uh, tell it yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the true version. <laughs> 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 Only part of that is true. Uh, yeah, so I, I grew up in our business. Uh, I wanted, you know, there's a couple of kids running around outside in the factory. I was that kid growing 
enough. I, I just, I live this. I, I feel like I have a, a passenger seat every day in my own life. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's cool because it's actually, you know, you told kind of my story of corporate America and all this kind of stuff, and I have the ability to prove to myself that I can do all that stuff. But it's amazing because this all kind of comes from my ears, and it's like, there, it, you know, it's stuck. <laughs> for better or for worse. <laughs> so here we are. Um, so I love, I, I'm a tech guy. Uh, I, the, I was in finance, but I was working for a tech company for the last uh, almost 10 years. Uh, I love that stuff. And I've always dreamed of being an entrepreneur. Uh, I definitely got the opportunity. And I, and he's, you know, I've watched the way that he works in his business and the way he works in life. You know, he's been out of the brokerage business for 20 years and somehow started to just put together M&A trends, net mergers and acquisitions, and all, and it's like, how does somebody do that? Well, how he does that is that he has these relationships and he has this Rolex, and that is not rocket science up here. It's rocket science in here, right? Because people don't do the little things that they need to do to make themselves successful and to be able to call that guy that I haven't talked to in 20 years and go, hey, I remember you, I remember this about you, and all of a sudden, it's like those 20 years didn't matter because we're back. Right where we left off. And some people can do that naturally. I'm not one of those people. And I need a tool. And I think a lot of us need a tool. Um, and so you need a tool for today because I don't have an app for you yet. Yeah. But you need a tool. But we want to build you this tool that's going to be the future of that. And it's going to make it really simple. And it's going to make it fun to use and profitable for you immediately. Because you know, if you go and buy, there's a lot of there's a lot of tools out there like this. And they work, everything that they do makes a ton of sense, but for me, they're too much. And so you try to start using them, and then you stop using them because you're like, well, I can't, you know, have a funnel and a thing and this and a warm leads and a cold leads. And I don't want to do all that. Happening. I want to just talk to people and not be distracted. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. But in the meantime, get this thing or get, sorry, no, like, no, no, that's or get post it notes or get whatever it is. But figure out a way to not lose people because that's what happens, right? So I create, I met a at, in Lovely and I put them in my phone, I didn't actually, but let's pretend I did. And, and, then, I, and then I, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing to remind me that I want to follow up. And so I don't. Or I put it even worse, right? I, I go, oh yeah, I got to follow up with him. And I go, I put it on my calendar, 1 p.m., two weeks from now, I'm going to call Joel. And then I'm busy or I don't feel good that day or whatever. I don't do it. And it's gone because your calendar just moves on into the future, right? So figure out some way for you to not lose people. And then if you don't feel like it that day, bummer, but you haven't lost the person. And just hammer that, right? Seven times. And I think the other, it's just it's cool listening to how this all, you know, you're hearing repetition of the same concepts because the invite and the follow-up and all of this stuff, it's all one thing. And it's all this. Yeah. And that's pretty cool, right? Because I like friendship. I don't always like selling network marketing, but I always like friendship. So do that, and then the business is going to fall. Okay. <laughs>